Hi there, I'm Jim Coffey. I design and create Automata near San Diego, California. It's November 20th, 2023. The purpose of this video is to introduce the clarinetist. This whole activity began in 2016 when I created a 20 pipe street organ. The organ is a John Smith Senior 20 model that I love to play in public. In 2022, I added the mini carnival that hangs from the front of the street organ. And then in mid 2023, I began adding 10 musicians. I've completed two of the musicians so far. I'm beginning to think of this whole thing as a uh, street performance rather than as a street organ. All of the musicians start their life as a timber kit. As I build, I modify the kits as my artistic instincts dictate. I'm pleased to be starting with the timber kits. They're saving me a lot of time and energy, and I'm learning from them. With the pianist completed, I decided to add a clarinetist to her module. The clarinetist sits behind the pianist. This module, which also holds four spools of music, is easily attached to the side of the organ. Before actually constructing anything, I began by reviewing the Timber Kit's instruction booklet and then by sort of putting the clarinetist together with no glue. I wanted to get an idea of size and shape and how it was all going to work. All of the Timber Kit's musicians come with their own musical instruments. In this case, I decided to purchase a clarinet that resembles reality. I'll probably do the same thing for most of the remaining instruments. The clarinet cost $14, which I consider a bargain. I'm not capable of creating a clarinet of this quality. Before construction, I also needed to decide what motion I wanted the clarinetist to have. I decided on a gentle, random rocking motion and also a toe tap. There are two parts to this project. One, the clarinetist, the above the stage figure, and two, the drive frame. The drive frame hangs below the stage and houses the mechanics. I'm trying a new, to me, uh, a new style electric motor. It's a 12 volt DC gear motor that I power with five volts DC. I like this motor a lot. It's strong, easy to mount, and very, very quiet. This motor style may become my uh, default choice. Before I began creating the formal drive frame, I built a mock-up of the random rocking mechanism. I'm using an MXL belt and three MXL sprockets. The cam mechanisms I handcrafted. We'll see how well they hold up over time. The random drive mechanism has two parts. One of the parts moves the vertical torso shaft in horizontal random motions. This causes the body to randomly rock. And the second part of this mechanism keeps the torso shaft from rotating freely. It anchors the torso shaft to a pin so that as the torso rocks, it also moves slightly right and left. The drive frame in its final form is 3D printed in two parts. The drive frame that you are seeing in this video is version 3. Notice how the motor conveniently clamps into place. The skeleton of the clarinetist is timber kits. You can see that I've bulked out the square dowels with a spackling patch, which adds further shape and roundness. The torso itself has also been bulked up with a pivot point installed at the belt line. The head is designed using Make Human software and then is 3D printed. Probably 
the most difficult part of this assembly was properly orienting the clarinet. I ended up making a jig for it, which held the clarinet in the proper orientation while I adjusted and glued the hands and arms. I spray painted the mechanisms below the stage using camo colors. I like to do this. The mechanisms don't stand out. However, if you care to see how things work, they are there. The clarinetist was painted using Vallejo acrylic paints and then was spray painted with two coats of Krylon Color Max, a uh, flat crystal clear uh, coating. This final coating helps protect the painted finish over time. At the end of the day, I've completed a new permanent addition to the beam engine band. He's not spectacular, but shouldn't be. He's not the star of the show. He's simply a reliable, honorable, faithful clarinetist. He likes being a member of the Beam Engine Band, and though he doesn't openly show it, he's got a bit of a thing for the pianist. Thanks for watching. Cheers.